Myself, I really like merfolk, and I willingly pay that merfolk tax. It's kind of that, that need to play this deck, even though it's not necessarily good. I want to make it good. I kind of have to try to port mono blue merfolk from modern into timeless. And, you know, the same thing goes for whenever merfolk is available in standard. It is a need and not a want. But returning to Timeless Merfolk, which is due to receive some major upgrades in a couple days when Modern Horizon 3 comes out. We're getting Subtlety. We're getting the new Harbinger of the Seas. We're getting Flare Denial. Free. Now, we're not getting Force Negation. This deck can still make use of Flare Denial. Vidalian Hexcatcher has shown just how effective sacrificing your fish can be. I know it sucks to lose five creatures to counter a sweeper, but even if you lose all but one creature to counter it, or counter a planeswalker, you're still able to rebuild and you're still finding those windows to chip in damage until you come out with the final swing. Flare of Denial should operate in the same way. Replacing Counterspell is a step between this and Force of Negation, but it does get creature spells. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. This really wasn't a token deck to begin with, but we're pretty happy with this upgrade either way. Harbinger of the Seas, on the other hand, is the real deal. This upgrade is basically replacing Spreading Seas. You know, considering that Spreading Seas was already really bad in a Bowmasters format, that extra card draw on top of the utility was pretty bad. Now, we don't have the card draw anymore. And it's a merfolk now. The additional blue pip, it it doesn't matter. It puts the creature amongst the three dot deluge of creatures, and we are looking at a limited amount of spaces. But taxing decks like Primeval Titan that rely on their lands to combo as early as possible, while it's also enabling Iron Walk for the Alpha Strike, a third and final upgrade to the deck is subtlety. While this may be only necessary with every deck gaining access to Invoke Elementals, thanks to those special guest reprints, the cycle of free spills should upturn the current meta. And who knows, maybe this list is better as Azorius Merfolk with access to Solitude. Subtlety might be the weakest of the Elementals, especially as you aren't countering. You're just postponing it. Merfolk was always tempo pulling the opponent off balance just so we can strike around their defenses. That is the way. Sideboarding right now is its kind of difficult. Uh, normally a card or two from each set is going to be strong enough, but lately only the special guest slot has cards powerful enough to penetrate those sideboards. Flusterstorm, Consigned to Memory, Strict Serenade are all niche answers and are hopefully going to help us fight against the extreme value of this, this vintage-like format. Orcish Bowmasters, Yogmoth, and the oncoming Fury Grief List is going to be a big challenge. But we're also going to have a lot more tools. I think Merfolk are going to have a real chance. I'll be trying to make both Mono Blue and Simic Splash List work. I mean, Salmon 2 have that insane sense that makes them want to swim against the current, right? They're mad strong.